Please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. So in this lesson, we are gonna just create the basic infrastructure of our home page, and we are also gonna show you how different pages are um, merged together so that you have your website fully structured, and you can just show this to your self and be happy that you have already built a website. So let's start. So first of all. In a typical website or a professional website you have this uh, message button which is already included and you have this bar which shows different uh, menu options so you can easily add more menus to it we'll be adding those at the at the very last so well, let us just first create our infrastructure so that it's more of uh, like uh, good and professional so after that we should have a slideshow or some pictures so that it looks more attractive so from here you will start you can see that you have an ad section part so just click on this ad section part and you can see that there are lots and lots of options available for you so you should select this slideshow part and you can see that this slideshow has uh, this section of uh, the height so it should be full it should be medium or large so let's just keep it medium for the time being and section height in mobile let's also keep it in medium we don't want this to be too large or we don't want this to be too small so this is the section that says that this section doesn't currently include any content so we will be having this content so here is the carousel options the carousel options means that whenever you are just giving two or three images these options will rotate like uh, in the slideshow it will have an arrow or it will have some dots and this is the rotation speed which means that after how many seconds the images will be slided to a different image so let's just keep these things default as it is and let's just save this and you can just you've just saved this part and let's just go back you can see that you have your slide added so you can just click on this add slide button and you can just add your images we will add these images and everything but let's let us just first create our infrastructure so that you know what you are doing so going back let's move downwards after that in a typical web professional website you should have a featured collection of products so let us create a featured collection of product section so you should click on this add section button and you can just create your featured collection option from here or also you can also just give your collection list so the basic difference is collection list are the types of the products suppose you do baby products you have toys uh, you also have some beauty products so these will be the collection so these will all be a separate collection if you just click on one collection it will take you to a different one so we should we will give both of them and see which one is like more attractive so right now let's just give this featured collection option and you can see that this collection option have these settings and you can uh, just change your own heading it says featured collection uh, let's just give this grab as app and so these writings are all to you regarding to you you can also create a subheading you can just give this section style to uh, blank backdrop accent border or border top let's just give this an accent background and see if you see that one uh, this featured collection options look like this so basically you'll have your products here this will show up something like this 
and if you just cross around you can see all the featured collection and if you're in a mobile you can just swipe around to see all of the featured collections you have and we will just define each and everything once we just give our products so this is the border top option you can notice that in the background it these things have something like border and here is the blank part so i preferred that it should have a border at every ending and here it says select collection if you just give the collection name it will take the products from your listing but as we haven't yet listed any products we will keep it null for the moment and we will edit this after we have selected each and every products so next up you can see that it uh, the grid option it shows the number of grids well you can uh, choose this to be three grids and you can also choose this to be four grids this depends upon the number of products you choose so whenever you have more uh, more grid it will show you more products and this is the products per row in a mobile which means that whenever you are mo in a mobile it will show two products and when you slide it will show more so this is all and in desktop it will have four products per row so you can see that here it shows four products now so if we make this to two it will show us two products you can see that this got enlarged and it sh it's showing us two products so in desktop it's better to keep four so it looks very much standard and let's just give it a number of two rows for the time being and you have this view show view button level in the footer and you can also give this a button link and all so right now i'm just uh keep keeping this blank so whenever we are just gonna build our own one we will just make sure these options are corrected so here you have another option which is enable carousel show arrows dots and basically enabling the course carousel will be like a slideshow and if you just disable the carousel part it will be more like a table so if you just disable you can see that from starting you have your home page and you have your featured collections like this if you just disable and if you just enable your carousel you will have a slideshow option so this is the basic difference so right now I'm just gonna leave this uh, here as this seems to be more standard to me but everyone has their own preferences so it's upon your taste and time so if you just disable your carousel part you don't have any arrows you don't have any dots and you don't have any rotation speeds but if you are in a carousel option you should have these options enabled okay then next up is the theme settings so these are the color swatches so basically the color swatches is when you're just selecting a product and this is show hover so whenever you have your product we you can just uh, know these options better when our products will be displayed you can see that when we click on this it will be a little bit of hover so I'll show you guys these options in the future lessons so right now I'm just gonna go backwards and I'm gonna save this again so guys you should always and always save you everything once you're confirmed so you can see that you we have our message part we have our this carousel part and now we have our this uh, featured collection part next up uh, let's add another section to it which is the hot trending product in your store so let's add another one so the hot trending product is basically an image with some text so let's just give this image with text option here and basically in this image part we will give our hot trending product and we will write something in the right part that hey this is a hot trending product don't don't miss out our product so this part is for our hot trending product and we will keep it to something like this and you can see all of its uh, settings 
starting from section style to text size to image alignment and all so you can just align it to the right you can just see how it changes I prefer to be it on the left and you can also align this on the, the, the text alignment to the left it's your personal opinion and you can just change let's change the heading to our hottest product our hottest product that's it sorry and you can just change this text image to different styles we have its button and all and we have its button label so just leave, say uh, seafood details or something like that see full details so what will it do it will just take you to the actual product page of the specific product which you want to give and this is the button link page once we have decided your product you can just give it a button so you have also created your hottest product option now it's time to move backwards so I'm just moving backwards and I'm saving it again <coughs> so you have created three things now another most important thing is the newsletter part so I'm just gonna drag in below and I'm just gonna give it a newsletter part here well basically what does this newsletter part mean there will be many people who just come into your website and who will want to subscribe in your website to get regular updates you can always market to those people regarding your top products and if you want to give some discounts these people will be the most exclusive ones to get so many people will just subscribe to your website so this part is for them so I'm just going back this is uh, necessary for someone and some says that no we don't need it so basically that's up on your own preference you can also just not keep this part it's your choice so next part is this part which is guarantee part these are basically the trust icons like we do 24 by 7 delivery we do we have a customer service blah 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 and all so you can just keep this part as yourself and under that you have your footer part so with this we have our home page customized so this is the basic layout of our home page so i'll see you on the next lesson